How many times have you wanted to allow users to upload documents and also set the metadata without even needing to go to your SharePoint site? So with the new SharePoint Forms functionality, you are going to be able to easily create a form, allow users to upload documents, set the metadata in a form, and then submit that, and that document goes directly to the library and the metadata is set. So think about things like new vendor docs or new submissions or permits or anything that you need to get, this forms functionality makes it seamless, secure and smart. Let's jump in and have a look. So here we are inside of my permits and approvals document library. Now I want to allow people to upload documents into here, but without having to come to this library. So we might have different people from around the business that don't have access to this site. So I wanna give them a nice user interface to upload a file and also set the metadata for me. So I can click on forms in the command bar. I can create a new form. So I'm going to call this new permits. And let's give it a color because what happens when we create a new form is that we create a folder inside of this document library. So I am going to hit create. That form has now gathered all the metadata that is associated already set to this document library. So if I scroll down, you can see I've got the owner, the project name, the document status, all the metadata that's already on the library. So I'm going to give this form a title. So I am going to say new permit submission, uh, submission and Let's scroll down and have a look. So when I click on the upload file section here, you can see that I can specify the file type. So I can limit the file type if I want to, and I can also set the maximum file size. So we'll see that I've got owner, I've got the project name, and I've got all that metadata. I can even add new fields if I wanted to. On the right hand side here, you can see I might not want to show all of this. Now I do know that in this library, the project name has a default value. So I don't want to show that, it's irrelevant. We don't really need to have that on this form because it's automatically set for me. So we'll take that off and keep the UI a little bit cleaner. All right, so this looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave it like that. Now. We can also see that we can create some themes or change our themes. And when I click these four tiles here, these are the ones that are given to you out of the box with Microsoft, or I could set a theme color if I wanted to as well. But let's keep it with that theme. Now we can also jump down here under settings. We can get alerted if a new form submission has been uh, has been created or has been completed. So that means a new document's been uploaded. We can get notified. We can turn this on or off, right? So we can, uh, at the moment, it's accepting responses. We can also have a start and end date that we want to accept responses for, okay? So we've got some settings that we can do. We can preview our form. So when I click preview, you can see that this is what the form is going to look like when I send this across to somebody. And we jump back to the form. I can give this a logo as well if I wanted to add a logo, all right? So what we might do is let's just pick a, um, a Copilot logo here, all right? So we'll add that logo. You'll also notice that we have some branching options here. So let's have a look at what we can do with branching. So let's scroll down to issue two. So if I choose Titan still works from the choices, Maybe I want to then show the document type, but if I choose green core civil, then I don't want to. I would just want to go to the end of the form and skip everything else. So let's have a look at that in action. So if I go to preview, what we will see is that the form stops, doesn't show anything past issue two. Now, if I go to green core civil, we go to the end of the form and I can click submit. But if I choose Titan still works, you can see that I go to the document type and I hit permit and then I hit submit, all right? So we've got the opportunity here to do some branching logic as well. Now let's dive back out of this. Now when I, and we'll go to edit, I can now hit send form and I'll go copy link. 
Actually, before we do that, let's reset all the branching to default. So everything should be next, 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 next. That is good. We can customize if we wanted to. We'll go back to edit. We'll hit send form. I'll copy this link. Now, I'm going to jump across to, uh, to Frankie here. So here's Frankie's browser. Let's upload and we'll choose a, f a file for us to upload, all right? So let's choose our document here. We've got our owner. So let's put uh, Frankie as the owner. The status is draft. The permit type is an uh, excavation. We've got our number, issued to Titan Steelworks, the date, expiry date. So we'll set our metadata across here. Uh, and let's go compliance and we'll hit submit. All right, so uploaded a doc, set the metadata. Now let's have a look at where that goes. So if I close this, you can see that I've got my folder. And when I open that, you can see here, there's the file and there is all the metadata that has been set. Now that was seamless, nice and easy, great user experience created a form, we can show or hide things, and then we can send that to people um, and allow them to upload and set the metadata all from that one form without having to set, uh, go to that document library. So, new forms functionality. Coming to your SharePoint document libraries. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.